Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. So I wanted to give you an inside look on my upcoming book, the, the, uh, the concept for the cover of my upcoming book, Saving the Beast. So, uh, Saving the Beast, a recovering reporter reflects on America's broken media and how to fix it. That's the, <laughs> that's the long title. Uh, but you got to have one of those these days. You got to have the, the, the short title and then you got to have the subtitle or the, the longer title that kind of explains more about the book. But anyway, so I used to do a lot of drawing when I was a kid, um, you know, just, just casually, never, you know, I, I took a couple of classes, yeah, when I was a little kid or whatever. But anyway, so I always liked drawing comic books and, and things like that. So here you go. Here was the, here was the first idea for the beast. So uh, if you haven't heard me explain it before, the quick version is that uh, uh, in journalism we have the phrase feed the beast. So feed the beast meaning produce content, create content for uh, for journalism, for the newspaper, for the re the beast was never like fully defined. To me, I in this book I talk about it as the craft of journalism and the industry of journalism and how that's under attack right now by several forces like the, it's the way that they teach journalism now uh, it's the uh, the ideology that they're pushing in ma in the mainstream media so it's under attack it's under attack by fake news so I'm like oh why don't I have a beast a literal beast an embodiment a physical embodiment of the beast and it's uh, it's stuck in a, it's caught in a trap like a bear trap if you will here's the chain for the bear trap <laughs> And the bear trap is fake news. So this, so this kind of represents uh, what is trapping the uh, the beast. Fake news. All right. So that's that's this was the first uh, kind of image, first iteration of uh, of the front cover. Now the second one. And let's get to it here. Here, here we go. Here's the second one. A little, a little more detail. A little more detail in this because I yeah I used to draw a lot of characters um, with musculature and everything you know you got the chest and the abdomen and the deltoids and biceps forearms balled up in the fists that second arm looks a little weird right there but that's the second arm um, head back because uh, and mouth agape because he's in pain um, his legs hairy legs got to have the hairy legs because it's it's like a werewolf that's that's kind of the way I uh, I envisioned. The beast was as a werewolf, and then and then here we go, fake news again with the chain and the, and the teeth. And he's got his his foot, his ankle stuck in uh, in the bear trap, in the trap of fake news. Okay, and then finally we have the book cover. So I explained, I met with my editor, I showed her the two um, the two things that I had had drawn, two images I had drawn. And especially the second one, she's like, oh, send that to me. So I texted it to her, and this is what she came up with. Or I, You know what? Honestly, I don't know if it was my editor or I, if she farmed it off to, uh, to a graphic designer. I'm not sure, but this is an AI-generated image. And so we made the trap even bigger uh, because, wow, if that trap were to close, that whole beast would be done. And here we have the uh, the label of fake news, and you can see it goes all the way around the trap. And uh, yeah, I just love everything about this cover. I think it's I think it's very striking. I think it uh, immediately grabs you. And I I love the you know the gold and the red and the kind of the light shining down, illuminating uh, the beast right here. The beast is clearly in pain because he knows he's about to get it. And um, and then yeah, here the here the uh, the subtitle. And it, and it tells you, uh, recovering reporter, you know, and I, I do, I like that phrase. I picked it up from somebody else. It's not my, it's not my original, you know, I didn't, I didn't come up with that. But recovering as if, as if, um, you know, I uh, was in some type of, I needed some type of rehab <laughs> after enduring 25 years as a reporter. It, it kind of makes you feel that way. Uh, so that's why I said recovering reporter. And, and it, and it also shows that, uh, I'm coming from a standpoint of, of uh, knowledge, of, of intelligence and, and uh, professionalism. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. So, um, at least I think I do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, so I, I just, you know, I, I wanted to give you a little uh, 
behind the scenes look here at um, at how I came up with the cover for this because that, that was very important to me as well it's, it's part of part of uh, the creative process you know coming up with the cover idea you uh, you have to have one that uh, that generates interest that is uh, eye-catching you know and hopefully this does that hopefully this accomplishes that I'd like to think so um, I like it I don't know um, I've heard other things you know I ask people their opinions and eh, you know it's, it's it's here or there and and uh, whatever I don't care uh, I'm <laughs> so why did I ask for their opinions right no um, I, I think it accomplishes what uh, what I want uh, with this book and so there you go um, hope you like it I hope you like uh, just me kind of showing you a little behind the scenes look on, on how these uh, at least for for this at least for this book how the uh, how the idea uh, you know germinated how it how it uh, progressed and um, yeah so let me know your thoughts I will I will keep you updated uh, yeah we are less than a month away uh, hopefully from uh, from launching the book so um, yeah I, I appreciate everybody supporting me and uh, happy that you are on this ride with me and uh, you know taking it to the moon to the moon all right talk to you later